Welcome to a video taking a look at reflection. Here we've been asked to reflect shape Q in the line Y equals X. Now what I would sh suggest here is if you've got a line of reflection that is a diagonal line, these can sometimes cause us some problems. So a nice thing to do is maybe just to rotate your page to turn it so that it is either horizontal or vertical. It just some reason people um, struggle a little bit when the line is diagonal. Okay, now let's take a look at how we can reflect a shape accurately and clearly. Now I'm going to just label each of uh, the vertices of my shape, so the corner points of my shape with different colours here to help us see what we're doing. So I've just labeled that one blue, that one's orange, and that one is yellow. So let's take this first point now what we're doing here is we're reflecting so that means we can think of a reflection like a mirror and so what would this look like if this was reflected in a mirror and this is as I say this line here is a mirror line if you like and a nice way to do this is to measure the distances from each of the vertices of our shape to the mirror line the distance from each vertice to the middle line will be the same on the other side of the mirror line. So we can see here that from this blue, uh, this blue corner point, this blue vertice, is that is half a square. So from this this vertex here to the line, that's half a square. That means I need to go half a square in the other direction. Okay. So we can see here that we've gone half a square to the line, then half a square after the line. Then if I take a look at, um, don't really need that, that there. Let's take a look now at this uh, orange one. So how far is this point away from the line? It's one two, three away from the line. So if I count three diagonal squares across in the opposite direction, one, two, three, so my new point is going to go there. Then the last one, this yellow one, this one is one, two away from the mirror line. So we have to count two after the mirror line. One, two, and that gives us a new shape. So if I was now just to connect these points with a ruler, um, that one's a bit dodgy. What I should see is that I have reflected this shape in the mirror line. And so by reflection what we mean is that this shape here has been the, the it has taken the reflection as if it were as if you were looking in a mirror. So let's just um quickly now just rotate this round. Hopefully this doesn't mess things up. Oh it does. So let's not do that. Um so that gives us a final answer there. Okay. Second question taking a look at reflection. So on the grid above, reflect shape A in the line x equals minus 2. So this may happen on exam where you're not given a specific mirror line and you need to draw that in. So we're told to reflect it in the line x equals minus 2. Now where is the line x equals minus 2? Well, it's on our x-axis, so where is minus 2 here? That is going to be that point there. So that means that a line x equals minus 2 is just a line that goes right through negative 2. Okay, now let's take a look at how we're going to reflect this. So I'm just going to colour each of these in a different colour so we can see what we're going to be doing. And we're just going to be doing exactly the same thing here. So counting from each of the corners of the shape that we've already got up to the middle line then counting the same on the other side so this one here it's 
need to count to the mirror line which is here that's going to be one two three so then count three on the other side one two three that's going to give me that point there now this one here we can see that this one is just one below it so that is going to give me that point there then these points now I just need to count again one two three four five to the mirror line and so I can count one two three four five away from the mirror line this one again this one here is just one below this other point that we've just done so we can put that there and then our last point and we can see that this is probably this is actually going to go off the page but never mind um, we count one two three four five six to the mirror line so that means we need to count six away one two three four five six so our point is going to be there we would then just simply connect these new coordinates with a ruler and what we would get is the reflected shape obviously yours would be a little bit more accurate than mine, mine is um, and there we have it uh, this shape A has been reflected in the mirror line uh, where the mirror line was x equals minus 2 the line going just going through minus 2 on the x axis